What's up guys? It's your girl Leslie aka Paint Me Pretty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my super secret method to getting my eyebrows to stay on for more than 24 hours. You only need five products. I know it sounds like a lot but you'll see what I mean in the video and they will last overnight. Yes, you can wake up with these eyebrows. So if you'd like to see the secret, keep on watching. These are the four products I use to get my eyebrows to stay on for more than 24 hours. All day, sleeping like a crazy woman, wake up in the morning, still got brows. The first thing I use is my Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil, and this is in Walnut. I also use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel in Deep Brown. Aha. And to apply that, I don't use the applicator, but I do use a eyebrow brush. And we use Control Freak gel at the end. Oh, I forgot one very, very important thing that we need, and that is setting powder. I'm basically going to bake my brows. The first thing I'm going to do is dip my brush in some Cover FX setting powder. And I'm going to put that all over my brow. You don't want any oils there at all. This will give you a nice base. So while I let that bake a little bit, I go ahead and get, you know, whatever ready, drink my coffee. Now that that's been sitting, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. Go ahead and wipe that powder off. And I'm going to take my brow pencil first. And we're just gonna comb through the brows with the spoolie. I hope you guys can see me. I'm gonna brush them up, especially here in the front, because I have like no lashes. Lashes. <laughs> no eyebrows. I'm brushing them up. And I start in the middle of my brows and start to carve out the arch. So we start about right there. Filling in as I go. And I will warn you, they're gonna look horrible until they're done, so don't worry. Trust my process. Following in the end, flicking it out. I use my beauty mark as a bit of a reference. And then I'm going to take the top part of the arch and we're gonna bring that down to meet the tail, like so. Go ahead and fill that in. I also like to go back and forth with the pencil because then I could get underneath those hairs where there tend to be spots. Now that we've got a basic shape, going to start filling in the front. Doing the same thing. Going back and forth. Now that's about where I stop. Now this is gonna be the funny looking part. I draw on these little lines, you know, like the little fake hairs, and work with those for a while. So I'm gonna put it right where I want them to start, which is about right here. 
So then I just go like this, flick the little lines up. These do not have to be neat because they are going to be blended. And if you make a mistake, make sure you have Q-tips nearby. They are fabulous for fixing eyebrow mistakes. And then we start filling in from the bottom up, flicking motions. Like so. And we're gonna brush through this. Starting in the front. Now there's some underneath and that's normal. So I'm going to take my Q-tip and just clean that up. Cleaning up the top, making sure it's even. And we're going to do the same thing. drawing in little hairs because we want the front of the brow to be lighter than the rest so it'll be like a gradient effect. So I want to go a little bit higher here. So gently I will draw that line. That's better. I'm going to go to the front again, darken that up a little bit, brush through, clean up. Now once I have the shape that I want that looks pretty good, we're going to go into the tattoo studio. Now I like this because it's colored and it's a brow gel and to me it seems to like thicken up the fibers of my brow hairs and Lord knows I need more. So I take my brush and I kind of dip into this, this applicator though, you see why I don't use it. it I would have like brow gel on my forehead. Starting in the middle again, I just go over what I just did with the pencil. Filling in any weird spots. Now if you don't want to use this brow gel, I mean you don't have to, you could skip to like the clear brow gel, but I'm telling you this brow gel combined with the other one is what's going to make it last. I start to flick it up in the front. A little spot right there and then on the front I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and I'm going to stamp it that way it still looks like hairs and I don't use this spoolie from the Anastasia brush I actually use the little spoolie from the Kat Von D pencil because it's smaller and I just like it better to run through this with the spoolie you can see there's a little spot right there so I'm gonna fill that in with the brow gel okay spoolie again okay that eyebrow looks good we're going to dip back into the setting powder tap off the excess and we're going to very gently tap the powder over the brow. Now this is going to set the brow and lock it into place. So while that's setting, I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. I'm back. Both brows are on. This one is still setting, but this one is done. So we're going to gently 
wipe away the powder. And I like to do this in an upward motion as to not disturb the brown hairs. And when you do use the powder, it will tone down the browns. I like more of a cool toned brow, so that's why I use a lot of powder, but you don't have to do that if you don't like a cool toned brow. And if you see any spots, I have this brush hair, any spots that have been taken away or wiped away, you can go ahead and fill those back in with either the brown brow gel or the pencil. So since this eye is done and combed through, I'm gonna go ahead and take the clear brow gel now and run this through. Make sure they're all shaped up and ready to ship out. Okay, that one is done. I think this one's done cooking. And get the powder out of this one. Looks good. No empty spots. Oh, I do see a mess up though. There. Put the clear brow gel on this side. Shape them up. And that's it. I will carve them out and finish my makeup, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you how I get my brows to last for more than 24 hours. So I'm going to check in with you tonight and then check in with you first thing tomorrow morning so you can see that I still have my brows on. All right, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to see you join the Painted and Pretty family. I'll see you soon. Okay guys, it's about 11 o'clock and I'm about to go to bed and take off this eye makeup, but I'm gonna leave the brows on. Simba, can you get out of my picture? One of my heathens. And I will come back in the morning and let you see how they've held up. I think they're gonna do really well because they usually do, even through my wild fucking sleeper days. But yeah, all right, there's your late night check-in and I will check in with you in the morning. Bye. Okay guys, I just woke up. It's 10.33 in the morning. This is the eyebrow check. They are still on fairly well. All I would have to do is touch them up a little bit and put some more powder on them because they are oily now. But yeah, there you go. So definitely try the trick and if it works for you, let me know. I want to hear your, your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. She my pretty young thing and I do anything for I love you. Hey, pretty young thing.